Now, I'm going to be tying basically like a chartreuse bait fish type pattern uh, and one with a chanel type head. Now, I, to be honest with you, I don't tie many of these flies. Uh, it was just, I got asked a question about could I tie a, well, basically could I explain how to get as good a head as you can with uh, a chan chanel like you've got here. Um, there's really not much you can do with a chanel. It's, it's basically, you're not going to get many turns around a set of bead eyes. Uh, you basically only get a figure eight. Uh, I, I feel that like you've got to have a good base of thread and taper to try and help form the ball. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. Uh, as I say, I don't tie many and I have a couple of goes there. But this is the hook I'm going to be using. This is a size one. Uh, must add. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread in six hole and chartreuse. We start at the eye, come down right there, and then remove the waist. Now, on the way down, I'm going to tie in some crystal flash. In this case, this is uh, the chartreuse, same colour. Much easier to tie it on the way down. And just basically doing a layer of thread at the same time. So, I'm going to wind to the point of the hook. Now, it's got a reasonable balance, I would think, now, but twice the hook length is there. Uh, to build up the body, I'm just going to use some light bright. In this case, it's the same colour, chartreuse. It's a nice pearly chartreuse light bright. I'm just going to lightly dub it on. And then going to come halfway back up. Give yourself a good bit of room for the head. I'm just going to take the thread through the, the light bright, which... Oh, Secure it in, and then we can brush it out with some, some Velcro. All that is is just to tidy up the, the body a wee bit. Now I'm going to use a... This is a fluorescent yellow. It's not exactly chartreuse, but it's close. Because it's just a cock hackle. It's just to give it a throw. It. I'm just going to tie it in the base of the feather. Show me the waist. All you're looking for is maybe three or four turns. Depends on how good the, the hackle is. Quite a long fibre, but I want it to like sit back. When you're happy then just tie it off. Just gonna come down a wee bit. Fold it back. Now I'm thinking of the taper of the head to help shape the head of the fly with the chenille, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Now I've got two, these are saddles, it's a saddle I've got, it's a, this one here, it's a chartreuse, I'm just going to use these as a, an under an under wing of support. I'm just going to line the tips up, leave the fluff, nothing wrong with a wee bit of fluff there, just yeah, looking the tips towards the, the end of the crystal flash, I can tear that away. Now, when I've tied these, you can either tie them on the top, let them hang over the top of the flyer, or slightly onto the side, it's, it's up to yourself. It will still swim okay. So, just line these up, make sure the tips are the right length. It's fine, and then we can hold them in the sides and then tie them in. It's just a wee check to see how they're sitting, we can then, we can always what I'm doing here is just pushing the feathers slightly forward and pressing, which will cause them to sit, cling to the side of the, the body, the, the sides of the hook. We can carry one down, fold these back, or in that case that one broke off, but we can fold them back and then break them off. And two grizzle, dyed chartreuse. Now the sometimes the easiest way to line them up and get the length that you want is to lay one on top of the other. Get the length that you want slightly longer than, say, the under or the chartreux ha chartreuse, plain chartreuse hackles underneath. So there's the length, so we just then make a space. Now we can put them on together or we can put them on individually, so get the length. It's just, we've got the mark, so we can tie them in. So I've got my side on, make sure it's okay. On your side now, ok 
Again, always check the length, just in case you measured wrong. There's a wee curve in this feather, which is... Okay, now I'm just slightly... Some more fibres there, but don't worry, you can just tie them in. So what you want is a good three or four turns. See how our feather's sitting. We can always move it around at this point. See there, that's okay. And then, again, just take your thread down. We're building up a taper here using the materials. In this case, I'm just going to trim them away. Carry on down. We can use our nail to flatten them out if we need. To the eye, and then work our way back up. And as you can see, there's a good taper there. I'm always thinking of that to try and use materials to bulk up the head to get that nice ball like shape. Some peacock curl, and I've got four or so strands. If you bring them 90 degrees from the stem of the feather, the tip should line up and you can tear them away. Now just bring them within your fingers and you curve them to get them to sit. Now I'm going to just slightly shorter than the, the hackles. You set them on the top. See how they're going to sit. That would be fine. Again, we can trim them away. Screw them in. Go halfway back up. And get my dumbbell eyes. Now these are just chain bead dumbbell eyes. And you set them on top. And obviously figure out them on. Position where you want. So just figure it through. Now I always like to put a wee touch of super glue. Just in it there, this area. And then we can secure them in. It's not going to move. And then what we're going to get is some fluorescent chenille. This is a chenille here for our head. Get a length. We bear the core so I can tie it in. Let's catch them. Catch on my side. Nice and tight. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly figure it through. Now, to protect the head, you could put a wee bit of super glue in, and that's what I'm going to do just onto the head area because there's it's not the strongest in the world, the chenille, it may come loose after a fish or so. So this way it'll last that wee tad longer. Now, two turns at the back, tight, come through the eyes, we a figure eight, just like we did with the thread. Now when you pull that tight in, now the super glue holds, then we come up, catch it, and that forms a nice sort of ball, nice and tight. And we can trim away. Now, what you can do is trim it slightly further away from the area we've caught it in, and then bear the core of the chenille. We can then slightly fold it back so the core is tucked back. So you trim this away, it's too long. We can just build up the head using the thread. Use your finger just to push this back. Then do build up the head a bit because this acts like a, a blocker, it blocks the chenille from slipping off. Shouldn't slip off anyway, so then we can put finish. Shaping the head at the same time. So we thread. And basically there you go. Uh, once it's in the water it'll swim well. Get it into a nice position to suit the camera. Now, if you feel the chenille was a bit lumpy looking, you can come in and trim. But to be honest with you, that's that's as good as, as as you'll probably get. Uh, all I then have to do is a couple of coats and varnish onto the head, or you could use a, a resin if you want it a wee bit heavier looking. Uh, but it's a couple of coats of varnish. It should be fine. And there you go. That's the chenille type head. 
bait fish flying, obviously chartreuse. So I hope you enjoy that.